Okay, so I believe the timer should start, so we'll give this a try. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. So this is with the Subaru. I can't imagine this going any better, but we'll try. Bear in mind, this is backwards at night, and it's flipped. So the question's actually going to be, can I survive? You have to remember the stage is backwards, but you also have to remember that the flip's over. And I'm pretty sure that I'm going to lose somewhere. If I live, if I survive this, then that will be a miracle. And King will get what he wants, which is he probably wants to see me fail a CMR1 challenge. But we're going to try our best not to let him win. So well, let's see what the Subaru can do. Like I said, see what happens. Because you never know, I might still be able to win. I can't, I can't exactly see myself winning this, but whatever, keep going. Like night time and it's not reversed or mirrored, it's hard enough as it is, so... Come on. Not an encouraging start so far. Don't forget, in an Audi, you can easily win stages even when you're miles behind. You've got the power to do so. Subaru, less so. So, I'm not expecting to win this, but see if I can make it through. At least. Although, I do seem to gain time at the end of the stage for some reason. Every single time. I don't know why, but like at the end of every stage, it always seems to be time saved somewhere. Like that, say. So you have to remember, like, all the stages are backwards, but because the flip, it's like, okay then. I never expect anything good out of this. Oh, God, hello. Oh, hello. Come on, car. Stay with me. Stay with me. It does have me a bit worried, but that's the point of a challenge, to try and beat said challenge. Bloody hell, a green split, I'm actually... You know, I'm actually ahead of the AI. Wow! So there should be a part in a minute where... Track changes which way it goes. I like I had to beat Yuha Kankanen. That, that was the guy in the Ford who won the first stage. I'm like, okay, yep, yeah, this is fair, I guess. The other thing is, because the Subaru is slower, it means I might be able to have an easier time. Sounds like a daft thing to say, but I might actually have an easier time with some of the rallies, like some of the stages. Like, not as much power, you know, don't have to worry. But I'm going to have trouble holding the power for longer. That's my main concern with this challenge. Because the Subaru has way less power. As you can see, no speed going up the hill. 
So obviously the AI is going to whoop my ass going up a hill. Again, as you can already see. Oh, hello. Who's me? Half a second. Come on. Come on, car. Say, so help me out here, car. AI has definitely turned interesting here. Um, now, am I going right or left? Okay. Yeah! I'm ahead. Okay, didn't want to do that. I wanted to change tyres, but whatever. That's the second time. I'm supposed to change tyres for this one. I'll change tyres for the stages 5 and 6, it's fine. Come on. Come on, car. Come on. Now I'm kind of wishing I'd just had daytime stages. <laughs> I think even that would have been difficult. Without the nighttime mode on it. Come on, come on. Oh god, no, 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 no. Don't. They don't spin out on me now. No. Too bad. Could be worse, I'll be honest. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. No. Oh. Okay. No, no, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it going. Keep it going. Like I said, you can easily turn the tables around. Lower car doesn't necessarily mean you're at a bigger disadvantage. You are going to lose time, yes, but sometimes it might be in better, in you know, better interest. Who knows? Oh, hello. Um, I do believe I don't want to go up there. Come on, car. I always forget about this off-road bit here. Right, so this should now turn right. Yep. I've just lost <laughs> eight seconds in two splits. Bravo. Okay, and then turn right. I turned left last time. Come on. Somehow still in this. Don't know how, but somehow just about in this. Come on. Come on. See, I would do all the same, like, you know, um, gearbox and everything that I would normally do. Like, nah, I'm not gonna. That seems like a really bad idea. Nice. Miles off what the uh, novice players are doing. Say novice, like the best novice was like an 858 in the uh, in the golf. 
So make of that what you will. That's how far behind I am of my own personal best. Like, I'm, I'm already like 20, what, 24 seconds slower than the previous best, which is staggering. I could have actually done with changing my gearbox. Thinking about it, I could have played it safe, but I didn't. So, oh, steady. Yeah, I, def I definitely should have changed the gearbox for this car. Because it's definitely too too long. Like, normally, I can let it slide. But just to help with acceleration turns, I should have changed the gearbox. I'll probably do that when I change the... I'm going to change the tyres anyway to wet grooves for the, on the next service area. Got this part here. Should be fine. It's good for acceleration like here. But it's no good really. When you consider the fact that I'm losing time where I could actually gain some on acceleration. I'm actually gonna leave my gearbox settings as the Arpa Grace, I think. As, as daft as that sounds, that's what I'm going to do. There we go. Alright, so... There we go. Five, four, three, two, one... Go! There we go, that's better. Right, wet grooves, wet track, and a better gearbox. This should be a lot easier. Not saying it'll be that easy, but it'll be a bit better. Surprisingly, that car is actually one of the easiest that you can take, it seems, in reverse. So I did it with the Audi the other day, now we're doing it with the Subaru. There's a challenge that's even tougher than this one, but I think, to be honest, this is where I'm going to draw my limit. Depending on how far we get with this one. And I'm going to put money on it now and say that it is going to be Indonesia that will, that will actually stop or try to stop this run. Personally, in, in my honest opinion. Um, because I don't see there being any other point in this run where it will actually stop. Like, I think most of the other rallies should be fine. Maybe not the UK either, but Indonesia is definitely one of them where it's like, nope. Hey, King. Need to alert tonight. Uh, but I'll keep an eye on things. Yeah, I think it's going to be a lot more challenging than the Audi was. Doesn't mean it'll be any less difficult. I think that this run as a whole is challenging, regardless. Plus, I don't really know the stages back to front reversed. <laughs> Not that well, anyway. But it's an interesting challenge. It's a new new idea, a new challenge run.
That actually helped a lot. Right, okay. So, we better look. See how we get on. I'm not I'm not expecting any miracles here. Like winning New Zealand is just like the tip of the iceberg. I, I believe there are much more challenging rallies ahead. There's no doubt in my mind that out of all of the rallies, like the hardest one that's coming is gonna be Indonesia. Like Sweden should be fine. Um I, I can't see any downside with that one. Uh, Austria, or oh, Monte Carlo, should be fine. Uh, Australia, isn't too bad in the dark, to be honest. Corsica's a worry one, actually. It doesn't stop at Corsica, and it will definitely stop elsewhere. Also, Jesus Christ, that was terrible. I need, I need to find time here. A lot of it. I don't think I'm going to find any, to be honest. Not on this stage. If anything, it's going to be a friggin' miracle if I find time here. Jesus. 12 seconds? Might even lose... New Zealand there. So much for a happy ending. Probably end up finishing second and third in most rallies. Rather than winning them. Indi Indonesia's going to be like the ultimate test. When you lose the craps on the time, you, you don't gain any back. Oh, it's impossible to gain any back. Night. Jesus. I, okay, I did win that. That's good. Okay. Yeah. That's what that's what I'm hoping, King. I'm hoping so. I think given the fact that I survived New Zealand just I mean 30 second advantage isn't exactly hard, but that's still pretty good. It's because the AI was holding themselves up, that's why. Like, you are Kankan and won one of the stages, like the first stage, and Colin was miles back. So normally I'd change all of my gearbox for Grace, but like I said, I'm going to just take the safe route here, which is not to do that. I will lose top speed in Grease, but I'd prefer to have the acceleration. I need to get this card, like the Audi, as much as possible. If I can. I mean, if anything, actually, what might be a really good idea is to put max acceleration on for Austria to give me the best fighting chance, I think. That might be a good idea, considering there's barely any straights in Austria. And it might seem like a bad idea, but it should be fine. It's the same in um, Sweden. 
leave the, if I just leave the acceleration at max, it should be fine. And that way I've got the acceleration on my side. I'm doing less so, but I can deal with the car. It, you know, it's fine. It's not horrible to drive or anything like that. I think I'll end up doing that with, um, what's it called? With, uh... So it's like, uh, with, well, with Corsica, I'll leave it at max acceleration there as well. Might be for the best, considering I don't have a clue where the road goes. Although, it will be interesting because I've got the reverse... I have the reverse super special stage to do for Greece, so that will be fun. Told you it would be a good idea, max acceleration, didn't I? Five, four, three, two, one. Already pulled out a pretty decent gap after the first stage. Questions about maintaining that lead, getting the lead and holding it. If I can hold this at top speed for longer, then that's always a good thing as well. Probably will lose time to the AI, but that's fine. I don't really know how I'm playing this, you know. I don't mean, like, how it runs or anything like that, but... Like, I'm not going for it like I normally would. And I'm also not really laid back. I'm kind of in between... I'm not stressed out about it or anything like that. I'm pretty calm about all this. Although after like the third or fourth stage in New Zealand, it's like, Ooh. then again, we are in Greece. So just take every rally as it comes. I think that's probably the best advice I can do. See, my problem is I don't listen to my own advice. So maybe if I listen to myself a bit more and maybe, just maybe, I'd actually be able to do alright with this. To watch that grey stuff because I can easily flip over if I'm not careful. Yeah, so if I if I get if I manage to make it to Corsica, I'm only gonna say one thing, which is pray for me. Pray that I can somehow win it. Right, another five and a half seconds, that's good. Well, that's when I get to Corsica. For now, let's just concentrate on race. So, a few things for people to know about this run. Um, whilst I'm doing it. But first and foremost, it's got three cheats enabled. The first one is to reverse all the tracks, so you start at the end and make your way to the, the front. Um, so you start the finish on every stage and you work your way uh, to the start. Okay, go back to front, reverse tracks, there you go. And the other cheat we have is dark mode or night mode, call it whichever you want. Uh, all stages are at night, um, which kind of reduces visibility, but not that much. Um, and then we have... 
uh, mirrored mode. So all the tracks are backwards, set at night, and are flipped. Thus making me completely uncertain and unsure about what corner's coming next. And to add to the difficulty, um, and this isn't something that I've turned off, to add to the difficulty, the co-driver's calls are not on. If I start, if I turned around and went the other way, then it would actually be like that. You know, sorry, if I if I turned around and went the normal way, then the co-driver would read out the pace notes. But because I'm not, I'm going the wrong way. It means that this happens, and that you don't get any pace notes. So you literally have to follow the the stage blind. It's about as blind and as tentative as you'll ever get, really. Hence the reason, the ultimate CMR1 challenge. We did it the other day, did it in the Audi Quattro, and we won all eight rallies and won the title. Albeit, we didn't win everything so easy. Indonesia being the hardest one to crack. Um, so we decided to go one step further and use the Subaru and see if I can still manage to win the championship. This time, though, I'm not putting pressure on myself to win. Oh, God. All eight rallies. Well driven. And I lost five and a half seconds, but that's fine. There we go. It's also worth noting there's no night stages in Greece, so all these stages would all be set at day. It's also not helping the fact that all the hills that <laughs> all the hills that come up, you can't see what's on the other side. So that's another thing. I'm going to get the best shot. There are some little shortcuts that I can take, but um, that with stages mirrored, I have no idea where I'm going. So I'd rather not chance it. By the time I've noticed them, I'm like, I'm already lost out. Nice. Gain two seconds from the visible shortcut I didn't really use. So that'll be the happen. Nice. I think King reckons I can win Greece with ease, as do I. I believe that Austria may also be a cakewalk, but not in the sense of it being a good cakewalk, as in I should be able to win it, probably by about 12 seconds or so. Maybe a bit longer, I don't know. Nice. Five and a half seconds. Nice. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Like I said, makes it a lot harder when you take away the co-driver. 
The only time we're actually going to hear the code driver is when we're on the um, super special stages, because they're ever on normal, uh, but mirrored. Even in the re even the reverse track um, of the super special stages, they're still run the normal way, but they're run in a mirrored mode. So, just to ask, for those that are, that are here, um, does anyone think, apart from, well, apart from me, I think, I think I'll fail this challenge, I think I'll get to Indonesia and that will be what, that, that'll be what does me in. Has anyone got any other thoughts apart from that? I'm just happy watching car go vroom. <laughs> just like the sound of the car then. I think my favourite car in this, as in engine sound noise, was, uh, what's it called? What's it called? The uh, Mitsubishi Lancer E4. Also, that was interesting. That was one, one trip. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Nice. Nice. Right. There we go. Yeah, so I wasn't too keen on a, some of the car noises uh, in this game. Um, the Seat Ibiza was probably one of my least favourite. Maybe the Skoda, I don't know. I wasn't was like, keen on it. I don't know, like some of the two-wheel drive cars, less so. But I think like the, the Escort as well, the fact that they reused the sound they reused the sound from the Ford Escort for the Mark II Escort on this game. Uh, yeah, Mark II Escort and the uh, RS two hundred. Like it's like okay, we've got a, we've got we've got a noise for a Ford. It's like why don't we just use it for all Fords? It's like I don't see what I don't see why we can't. I think it's the same as well with the Toyota Celica on the PC version and the Subaru. As you know, cost saving measures, yeah. But yet the, um. The. Oh! I was gonna say, the, uh. The Subaru and the, the Mitsubishi don't really have like the same sort of car sound, but they have a similar sort of sound, but not enough that it makes them sound the same. I don't really know. They have they both have a good sound, but the Evo to me always sounds better, always has done. But they have a similar sort of sound. I I probably come across yeah, you know, probably come across a bit random, but yeah, there you go. Oh, 
Nice. There we go. Two special stage. Mirrored two, at night. One, Why not? I'm sorry, what? Okay, maybe it's just because it's mirrored. But still, like, come on. Hmm. Oh. No, no, I take it back. He's only there. He's right there. Two down, six to go. Alright, well, Grease wasn't too bad. I don't know how much I won Grease by, though. Like I said, I feel like it was in best interest to do Max Acceleration. I think that was a good move, to be honest. Because I have no clue what I'm doing. Uh, the song currently playing is Nirvana, yep. It's alright when you know the stages forwards, but it's no good when you don't know them backwards. I will leave the Australian setup alone. Sweden will stay at max acceleration. That way it gives me a fighting chance. Uh, and then, what's it called? Corsica, I will leave it at max acceleration as well. And also, for obvious reasons, Indonesia and the UK. Every rally is pretty much going to have max acceleration. It just works. It works. It just works. If you do the thing and you don't get up, it just, it works. It just works. All right, come on, come on car. Don't let me down. so much time. Okay, right. So. Yeah, back in front again. Six point three seconds. You are Kankan is in third again. Somehow he just keeps popping up like hello, I'm here.
Yeah, I feel like putting this car on max acceleration is a good plan of attack. Like, yeah, I am going to lose time down the straights, but considering, like, this doesn't have that many straights, this is the thing. It's not got great brakes either, the Subaru, so that's another thing you have to be wary of. Less top speed, less worry about the brakes. Also, for people wondering, have you ever truly broken a car on this game? Uh, no, but I came pretty close to it. Uh, I wrecked the... What car did I have? It was the Audi, actually. And um, when I played it through on Expert for the first time, I wrecked the Audi a lot in UK. And it was so hard, like, god damn. So bloody difficult. I mean, it's still hard now, but less so. It's just... Back then I had no idea what the stages were like or anything like that. If I plan this out without giving it any proper thought, then I'm like, yeah, that would have been a stupid idea. But this one I actually am planning. After we did the run the other day, and remembering what went wrong, I'm like, right, can't afford to go wrong this time. No, 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 no! That was stupid. I don't know why I didn't bother looking around. I looked at the car and I was like, I'm gonna make this. The guy just went, nope. Well, there's eight seconds I ain't getting back. That's the thing about this. If I lose time at the start, I've lost it. Big time. There's no way of getting that back. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting that 8 seconds back. Not a chance. But even if I was in the Audi, would I uh, have gotten the 8 seconds back? It's just getting worse. Jesus. It can waltz the down, Jim. Here's what you could have won. Good job I stuck to the max acceleration idea. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting the me to do that. Not on that corner. But you're right, Grabber. Big mistake, and that is going to cost me. If I somehow come away with this, with any sort of advantage, it will be a miracle. I won't lie to you. Even if it's like two seconds, or sorry, half a second, I will take it. Lower in it though, it's five seconds now. Can I finish behind McRae? Ahead of everybody else. Oh, 
find out. Wow. Ah, okay. Yep, yeah, I'll take that. Still came out half a second ahead. What the hell? Impressive. <laughs> and I also forget as well that the... Um, the other thing is as well is I forget that that stage... I think it's the only stage in the entire game where you actually have to go further than the finish line. Because the finish line trigger for some reason isn't at the end of the stage. It's a bit further. Like right near the start. As in right near the very end of the stage near the barrier. Yeah, pulled, pulled out half a second advantage by the time we got to the end. Luckily, on a stage where it's supposed to be night, you're already there. So in this case, I should be fine. This stage is at night anyway. So to me, this feels normal. So I'll actually feel more com I'm feeling more comfortable on this stage already because this stage is already set at night. It's never set at day anyway. Uh. Oh, okay, come on. Yeah, that was that was a good recovery, that wasn't it, King? Thank you for the uh, <laughs> thank you for the kind words, Grabber. Also, this song. My question is, when is all my time going to get taken off me? Sister on's a bloody horrible stage. That's going forwards. So going backwards, flipped, in reverse. Yeah, pretty friggin' tough. Still got white groove tires on. That might be a problem. Oh, I know. That's going to be a problem. Probably damage the engine with that. And electrics. Not 100% sure though. Come on, where's the finish? There, something like there. I'll do it. Five second advantage after that stage. It might be tarmac, but I don't care. Five, four, three, two, one, I'll make the best of our situation. Right. 
Light grow tires. Tama. Shouldn't be leading a stage. I do love the UFO that keeps bouncing about. Always makes me laugh. I was like, haha, <laughs> remember the Easter eggs that used to have in games? Yeah, me too. Now, that's the thing about the night mode so good because you have the UFO Easter egg. A lot of people didn't know about it till maybe like 10, 20 years even. I don't know if I can go that far, like, ten, at least 10 and a bit years. I had no idea, I remember seeing a video on YouTube, I was like, wait, what? This is a thing in this game? So then I tried it for myself, and it worked, unsurprisingly, it did work. And not only did it work, but, um, I found a few extra spots as well. Other than someone put all videos up for that, I was like, oh, okay. Someone else has found all as well. It's really good. There's actually one or two that I hadn't spotted, and I was like, oh, okay then. And how much... I was going to say, how much ahead am I? Four seconds. Oh, hey. Yes. Five, four, okay. Two, one, go. Who's ready for Australia? Because I know for sure I ain't. I'll be keeping the same settings on. Although I'm thinking I should change the the, the gearbox settings to max acceleration again. I'll keep them as they are for Australia. I probably should change him, but I'm not going to. Australia's not too bad. Sweden I'm dreading because I don't like the Swedish rally at times. No, I'm not keen on it in some rallies. Uh, some games. Others, not so much. Uh, others, yeah, fine. O others, not so much. It's actually all the games that I'm not keen on the, um, what's it called? Not keen on the Swedish rally. But that ain't my big worry. My big worry is actually... Corsica. make it past Corsica then Indonesia's like I said Indonesia is what's going to stop us I cannot see us getting past Indonesia without losing this run or losing the uh... yeah just just losing in general pretty sure Indonesia is going to be the death of us probably going to require some really good bloody driving to beat Indonesia might be really close, who knows? I might win it by a second. Who knows? In before in before that actually happens. Oh, hello. Ooh. that with ease. How much do I win by? Eh, 40 odd seconds, not bad. Right. Chain. Don't change anything, just leave. 
Yeah, I thought he had second victory for Austria. Or Monte Carlo. Right, whatever. Right, Australia. You're the first of the pain in the ass ones. See, normally Australia is not a pain, it is not a bad rally. Quite enjoy Australia, but backwards it is hell. At worst, I can't see myself winning this. Truth be told. I don't mean the stage, I mean the rally. It'll be a tough shout, but we'll find out. I could Sweden, much easier. Yeah, three down. Well, th yeah, three rallies down. Five to go. I do have a bit of a worry with Australia, though. Stage t uh, two, yeah. Stage two. It's just a big no-no for me. Like, I can't see myself winning that one. I seem to struggle with stage two a lot. Like, a hell of a lot. funny though how much time you can gain back if you can keep up with the AI during the stage when you get to that final checkpoint because of the fact that the AI is doing the stage normally you're doing it in reverse so that's where in my opinion that's where the big time gain comes from watch all right last split yeah haven't really put a foot wrong right There you go. Gain time on the last split. I think that's why. Because they're doing the stage normally. So they're a bit slower. They actually take longer to do the stage. Whereas you can do the stage faster. Going backwards sometimes. That's where your time gain comes from on some. But your time loss comes from on others. Oh, hello. Oh, 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 oh. Alright. It'd be much appreciated if I could actually see where I'm going. He says that whilst playing with a 9 mode sheet on. I believe that's the whole idea of night mode to not see where you're going. Can I, I just want to actually ask a question. Is this a challenge, do we think, that is worthy of Colin? Colin McRae, I mean. Because I really wouldn't know. Would, would we say this is a challenge worthy of Colin? Uh, I need to turn right or left? Left. Wasn't sure if it would be left. Like, is it left or right? Yeah. 
Eight seconds. That was a lot better. A lot better. Actually, come to think of it, it's hard to define a challenge that is... I'm going to say difficult, it's hard to find a challenge that would probably be good in terms of trying to honour him, in a way, if, if I can even do such a thing with Colin McRae. Oh, hello. Oh, come on. Not quite. That's not what I want to do. How did I gain time there? That was a bad corner. Never mind. Oh, half a second. Not bad. I'll take that. Right, Wongan Hills. Now, this is normal at night anyway. It should be easier. Again. Not expecting a lot, but I will try. Well, the stage is supposed to be at night time anyway. You know, one thing's just occurred to me, actually. One thing that this can actually improve is my night driving. Because I'm doing everything at night. I can actually improve all my stages at night. See, it has its uses. It's like, as stupid as it sounds, it does actually have a use. Which is that you can actually make it easier for driving at night. Even if it's doing... The normal stage and you have a night stage coming up. It actually makes it easier. Just think about it, you've right, you you've trained on every I say trained, you've you've done every stage at night. There's gotta be, you know, it's gotta be something, right? Surely. See. I just looked. I was like, I don't want to see the the split. Like maybe I'll do it. Oh, nice. I forget how early. Oh, sorry, late in the stage. There's a water splash. 
Alright, so let's have a look. How much do I win this stage by? Four point six seconds, not bad. Need all the electrics I can get. Electrics will be damaged simply because of the fact that I'll probably hit a few bumps and smash them into corners and stuff like that. Oh, so that moment when you realise Sweden's next. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm expecting Sweden to be the easy one. And when I say easy, I mean really easy. It's like snow, loads of corners, can't go wrong. Oh, Corsica. If I, if I make it through Corsica alive, That'll be a miracle. Uh, turn right. I okay. wasn't sure about if it was a right or a left. Alright. Come on, car. Full speed. Be alright. Yeah, it'll be fine. And what I said about the car's brakes, they're not as good as what they are on the Audi. So, if I'm gonna be going quick, I need to be prepared to stop at any moment. He also developed some interesting lines for reverse stages as well, like these state, these lines are the ones I would never ever take. It's always a fun time. Then again, that one's also one I would never take, but it worked. Yes. I think the only thing that will probably help me on Corsica, by the way, is going to be the super special stage. I can't see anything else helping me at all. Like, no other stage is going to be kind to me. I have no doubt about that. But we've got to give it our best shot. It's a challenge, and I want to be able to prove that I can do this. Oh! I don't want to do that. I wanted to put it in first and go. I still got a, we still got an advantage. That's the way I'm looking at it. We still have an advantage. I can lose ten seconds on this stage, but I'm going to try not to. Build, build your advantage up early. It will come in useful for when you need it the most later on. I'm behind a Skoda. Let that just sink in for a minute.
That was. Now between the two Toyotas. Nice. Also, I lost time there? What? Whatever. Keep going. Okay, so I'm ahead of the Toyotas now. But I'm behind... Bruno Theory? That's BT in this game. B-Theory. I just used to call him Bill Theory, but it's Bruno. Moving up. Three seconds, okay. Oh, ho, ho. three seconds behind McRae. Nice, very nice. Super special stage. Don't let me down. Come on. Alright, this is me versus McCray. Mano a mano. Come on! Power! Not today, Colin. I'm not having it. Too well. Take it one stage at a time. Sweden's a long rally, so gonna be, we're going to be in Sweden for a while. Up 20 minutes, I think. Most stages take like three minutes. First three don't take that long. The other three really drag on. Come on. 
I'd say I'm winning this in the Subaru so far, mind you. Like a broken record, like, yeah! Winning! And again, I'm winning! And again, he's winning, I might as well stop playing. I am trying my best. It's already a pretty big buffer I've already pulled out in the first stage here. Won't be so lucky in Corsica, I'm guaranteeing that. Thirteen seconds, god damn. Alright, my question is, can I keep them thirteen seconds? Between now and the end of the rally. But the clever money was all wrong. Viper thought he could do it, and he couldn't. And as he proved in the next agonizingly five stages, he found out that Sweden is not a nice place in reverse. I'm off the ice, I'm on the snow. Oh god. Set, I'm not quite off the, off the snow yet. Come on. Come on, cat. Yeah, I, I deserve that time loss. I hesitated with the brakes. Ooh. As well as I hesitate with the ice. Come on. Another seven seconds. That puts me about twenty odd now. No. Okay, that's fine. I'll put that there. I'll, I'll put. I'll just say that I'm like, it's fine. It's fine. Five, four, three, two, I'll save. I don't mind saving. Go. It helps in case the game crashes. Save every now and again, can't hurt. Sweden going well. Yeah. So far, so good. Anyway. King. Australia wasn't too bad, um, although I wasn't expecting it to be terrible. Sweden's been pretty decent so far, and I am playing it, playing the easy card here. By playing the easy card, I mean using the uh, max acceleration. I uh, could have used good acceleration like I normally use, but 
max acceleration seems to be best bet against AI. Because ideally I want to make this car like the Audi. Um, and when I say make it like the Audi, obviously it's not going to have nearly the amount of acceleration, top speed, handling that that car is going to have. But it will have um, some good acceleration that can try to get close to the Audi. That makes sense. Like here, for example. Normally, top speed will come in useful, but I ain't risking it. I will quite happily max out here. This is fine. Pretty sure there's a bit more. Yep, yeah, there is. Uh, is there any more? Okay, hell. Yeah, that was a good idea. I was able to stop them. Uh... I'm not surprised if I end up winning Sweden by a mile. I did say Sweden was going to be a, a, a cakewalk, mainly because of the fact that there's a lot of corners. So it's not about how much speed you've got or how fast you are, it's how good are you through the corners. If you go through the corners, you'll easily pull an advantage. It's what I'm doing right now. It's like slow and steady wins the race. In a way. That's how good Sweden's going. 17.8 seconds. <laughs> Probably gonna lose a lot of it on this day, but it's fine. Yeah, 17. I think that's the biggest winning margin on a stage I've had so far in this thing. I'm not expecting good results on this stage, but it's a natural night stage. So, when I say natural, I mean the game has always had this stage at night anyway. So the nighttime mode thing here, there's no difference. So it makes it that little bit easier. It has like the it has like a reverse psychology. So because you've been doing the rest of the game on the nighttime. Or the, the, the night mode, dark mode, call it whatever you want to call it. Um, it actually helps a little bit with the dark stages because you're able to go fast-ish. Not that fast, obviously, but it helps a bit, you know, eases it a bit. Right, so, given how well Sweden's going, where does everyone think I'll get in Corsica? Does anyone, does anyone here think I will win Corsica? Because I have high doubts I will be winning that. I'm the top six, that's what I'm going to try and do.
was a good time. Nice. I think I'm cakewalking this a bit too easy, but Queen's had some pretty big winning margins so far. The biggest winning margin. Definitely Sweden so far. New Zealand was about 30 odd seconds. I think Greece was about 40 or 50. If you're wrong. Austria was about 40 seconds. Australia about another 40, I think. This is about two minutes. Yeah, we're about. Oh, okay. We're about two minutes. A minute and a bit. Oh, I will say that because of the fact that this stage is night time, it cancels out the fog effect. So that's actually something that's good. Because normally on this stage and the last stage you have the snowstorm effect, but it changes it for a night time effect, which is better, so it cancels it out. Cancels the weather, which is pretty good. WRC montage to this uh, season, but yeah, WRC season montage to this song. The 1993 WRC season, which uh, you are kind of one, if I'm not mistaken. And he's Tiota. Oh god. And who was his co driver? Any guesses? It was Nicky Grist. He was his co-driver. Fast forward about... What was it? Fast forward a couple of years and... Uh, Nicky took his role. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a gate walk, surely. I can't wait to see what uh, the gap was at the end of Sweden, you know. Because that gap's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's gotta be like a minute and twenty, surely. That's a checkpoint. I didn't even see that. I was like, wasn't even looking for it. I was like, there's a checkpoint. Just didn't know where it was. It's there somewhere. Oh, 
I probably can't win every stage, but so far this will be the only rally that I've won every stage on, if I win it, that is. I don't think we're going to get any other rally like this again. We're not just winning, we're dominating Sweden. This is going to have the biggest winning margin I've ever done. Well, it will be a big winning margin, not the biggest winning margin I've ever done. I think that will go down to other cars and events, but... Well, I'm trying my game. Come on. Seven. What was that at the end of it? Yeah, a minute and 20 seconds. Jesus. Right. Here comes the test. Corsica. This is the first hurdle. First hurdle. Corsica. Must get through Corsica. Yeah, all pain from here on out, exactly, King. I've got to push like hell to beat the AI. It ain't going to be easy when you consider how much of a pain the walls are in Corsica and how much they want to flip you over. context, the, the Impreza did win the stage when I did it in testing. Won the stage. But the Audi won it with about 3 seconds on the clock ahead. So if anything, this is going to be extremely challenging this car. There will not be an easy time. First stage is the only one I've actually won or done, sorry, with the Subaru. So it's to be expected that I'm okay or decent with the Subaru on this first stage. That's it. I'm not looking forward to what is behind, as in backwards. Might have a chance on stage four. Not, I'm not being funny, but stage four in Corsica might be one that I'll have a chance at. There you go. You're right though, King it is. All pain from here on out. You get past Corsica, you've then got Indonesia. You get past that, you're onto the UK. You get past the UK, you've won. And we'll see how good I really am. This is literally the test. This is the testing part. Corsica, Indonesia, the UK. Three of the toughest rollers in the entire game. 
Gosca is usually a piece of cake when you do it forwards. Not backwards, eh? I'm not expecting to win. For the sake of things, I'm actually not going to... I'm going to try not to look at the um, times at the top, if I can help it. I'm going to try not to look at stage times or, or anything. Just try and get in the zone and just concentrate. Because this is going to be a tough one. It'll be a tough nut to crack. So to speak. If I play it sensible, like I should, then there's a chance I can still win. But let's just not think about anything. Just well, play it sensible. Let's think about that and just hold that thought. I can also tell whether I've gone green or red, depending on what sound of a split I can hear. The UK is, is actually one that worries me a little bit. Um, simply because of the fact that in the UK there are plenty of parts of the stage that you can easily flip up over. Tell you something now: the, the winning margin for car skirt is going to be measured in seconds, not like minutes or 20, 30 seconds. It will be mere seconds if I win this. Indonesia won't even be a win; it will be finishing in the top six. Judging by how easy the UK became as that went on, I'm pretty sure we've got the UK in the bag. But let's just. Except, on straight one at a time. It's not concentrating. That's, that's off. Not done myself any favours for that one. Even worse than that, in Garsica as well, every second counts, so... I go off the road, if I crash, the game will hold it against me for the rest of the rally. So I can't afford to give the game any time, any time of day or anything. And just pray I can claw it back. That's that's the That's that's my hope. Prayer, yes. Here lies Viper's hopes and dreams. Along with everything else. I forgot that that was even a frigging corner. I was like, that corner's coming up a bit quick. I happen. Ah. Which ain't good. I just lost everything. Jesus, this game gives it, it to you, uh, takes it from you just as quickly as it gives it to you. Natural stage backwards. That is a. 
natural stage backwards at, at night. Hey, Fenslin, welcome to the party. You, you join me at the hardest part, the, the actual challenge part, so to speak. We got through New Zealand, albeit with some slight problems. Uh, Greece was fine, Austria. Australia was a bit of a ball eight, not too bad. And Sweden was pretty easy. We won by about a minute and 20 seconds in this thing. I think the Audi won by about two minutes on that rally. This rally, it won by about 20 seconds or 30 seconds. Indonesia was less than that. So I'm pretty confident we're not going to win Corsica and Indonesia. Although the UK is actually easier. Well, not as easy as it would be normally, but it's actually not too hard. Not being funny, but that part of the stage just felt backwards. Eh, not felt backwards. Felt like it was the right way. So on a stage like this, where it's normally in the dark, it helps a lot. I'm not looking forward to what stages 5 and 6 are going to say. Or have to say. But, if anything... If anything, the super special stage is going to pull this back. I think. Any time I lose, we'll actually be able to be pulled back. Not, not enough, not loads, I will be honest. But I will be able to pull some time back. With the... Um, yeah, I will be able to pull some time back. Uh, on the super special stage, because... As we all know... The flush stage is a stage where I thrive quite a bit, no matter what car. Yes, even the Golf. Right, that's that's give me that's that is that is a good good advantage so in the last two stages i managed to build a 15 second gap that's good on top of whatever i got after the first two stages so we're up to about i'd say 20 seconds nearly which isn't too bad but I can't rest on my morals that's still 20 seconds that ai can gain back all it takes is one bad stage this could be it Oh yeah, pendulum. So I put the uh, the car the car settings for this are on uh, max acceleration. And normally, as you may or may not know, I normally set it to good acceleration. Um, but I put it at max acceleration. Yeah. Simply because of the fact that I want to make it like the Audi. So you know the, the Audi normally has a lot of acceleration, right? Obviously I've got the lowest top speed, but it gives me the best fighting chance against the AI, I think, personally. Um, so I'm actually playing this with some strategy and also wall riding according to that corner. Didn't help, but still lost time. So whilst I may lose time on the straights, i.e. like now, because I'm using max acceleration, I can actually keep it going in the corners and it helps as well with hairpins and so on. Oh wow. Uh, uh. Yeah, game time back there. I'm pretty sure I'm actually gonna gain time. Last split I always gain time for some odd reason. Which? Told you. But currently, I'm um, 20 odd seconds in front. There we go. And I will be repairing the car at most, most chances I get. Five, four, three, two, one, go. 
Although, although, that being said, like I said, the, uh, the, what to call it, the, uh, super special stage will have the good acceleration, as per usual. And that will gain me more time over the AI, I'm sure of it. I'll do it in max acceleration, but I'm choosing not to. The UK and Indonesia are all going to be max acceleration until the end of the UK. At which point you go back to good acceleration again. I'm not looking forward to Indonesia. I'm telling you right now, I am not looking forward to it. If anything, I am absolutely crapping myself as to what that country, what that rally is going to bring me. Like King said before, it is pain from here on out. As soon as we started Corsica, we're entering the pain barrier. Corsica seems to have been less so. Not as painful as I might have thought. Indonesia, on the other hand, is a definite pain. UK, uh, I think I should handle that. I should be able to handle the UK. Not with ease, but with some sort of effort, I believe. Oh yeah, no, it'll, it'll be fine. Um... I think, I think it'll be fine with max acceleration because there's a lot of corners in Britain, as we as we know. Um, yeah, there's a lot of corners in Britain, so I'm pretty sure that will actually help with all the cornering and definitely uh, F and Boland, definitely that one as well. There's F and Boland, yeah. You definitely need friggin' acceleration for that course. And the... Uh, Last stage as well. One thing I need to remember to do in the UK, which I did on the last run, was I completely wrecked, just like I wrecked the AI, I wrecked the, um, what's it called? I wrecked the um, car completely. Five, four, so. Three, two, one, go. Also, Nikki's back because these stages aren't reversed, but they are mirrored. Right. If remember everything that you get in the regular stage, right. but the opposite way around. This is why I was saying before, like, yeah, it'll be fine. Come on, car. Come on. Come on. Look at the dots at the top on the right hand side. Jeez, this is going to be frigging close. Damn right, it's going to be close. How close was it? Ooh! Oh, I just lost the Kevin Backland. Right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, Hell. One, That's what I'm gonna nickname this. I'm gonna nickname this. Yeah, the fear is real. But like I said, maybe being in the Subaru will be a good thing. Because the Audi is very quick, right? And there's not a lot of time to stop. Whereas the Subaru is slower, not as much acceleration, and easier to control. So maybe we actually have a fighting chance with the Subaru on Expert. Not saying we didn't have a fighting chance with the Audi, but the Audi was absolutely hell to drive on Expert. Oh yeah. It's worth noting, by the way, that 
The first two stages and the last two aren't my concern. The middle two are. That's right, the two wet stages. The friggin' night stage and the wet stage. As in, the wet stage and the wet night stage. You get the idea. The one that's on the side of a mountain. That one. Them two are actually my concern right now. If I can get through Indonesia without battering my car too badly. Coming out with some decent sized gaps at the end of stages, then we'll be we'll be laughing. And the UK will go down like well, the fat kid on a seesaw, really. Down very, very good. I'm just going to say for the record, Indonesia is usually harder than the UK, but when it's reversed like this, and judging by how we did, how easy the UK actually was when we did it backwards the other day, and yeah, the other day with the Audi, proves that the UK actually isn't as hard as we think. Well, it is hard, but it's not that hard, if that makes sense. All right. One corner, I got tripped up. I tripped over last time. Right. Make sure I don't batter the car too hard. Six and a half seconds. And Richard Burns is second. God damn. Yeah, that's, that's the same with me. I'm more worried about this than the UK, to be honest. Dry stages are where the fear isn't. Wet stages are where the fear lies. No, yeah, Burnsy. Burnsy, no. Whoa, hello. Right. Didn't do that last time, but whatever. Might have to repair a lot of this car before the next one. Uh oh. Hey. Make sure I don't fall off the friggin' side of the stage this time. I fell off into that river thing last time, I'm pretty sure. Maybe yeah, that was why I did it in reverse. Whatever. Uh, Steeler's wheel stuck in the middle with you. That's kind of a happy-go-lucky song. I need that kind of music right now. I'm not going to lie. I do need this kind of music. Something put me nerves at rest. It's funny as well. It's like, what are you so nervous about? You're pretty good at CMR1. Shouldn't this be easy? Not when it's reverse and you know there's an easy chance of losing it. It's not. Like I said, playing it safe. That's what I need to do. Play this safe. I played Corsica safe, and it worked out fine. If I play Corsica, uh, I play Indonesia safe, it should work out just fine as well. At least that's the idea. I just have to remember not to hit too much bloody stuff. Because I need the car in one piece, ideally, and functioning at 100% capacity um, for the wet stages. So I can't wreck the car too bad. Wow. Okay, 11 and a half seconds. There we 
we go. Still have the sun though. Even though it's not showing the rain effects. Yeah, exactly. Let's find out what stages three and four are gonna go like. I'm not expecting this to go well at all. I, I, I'm not add to the fact that I can't see the stage. Like, I can't see around the corner or anything. They were brutal on this stage last time. Oh, they, sorry, they start brutal, but they make they, they lay off after a like, couple of checkpoints. So just pile you pile you drive pile drive your way to the front. So to speak. Oh, I don't know. Pile drive is that the right word to use? Pile drive your way to the front. I don't know. Also, I don't know when we're going to get onto the mountain. That's another worry. At some point, we're going to get onto the mountain. And I don't know when it's going to be. Is it here? Right, we're here. Jesus. Uh, there we go. Alright, steady. Don't fall off it. That seemed like a smart idea. Yeah, that seemed very smart. Just take it slow. Don't even go fast. I, I, I can only accelerate as much as I can see going forward, which isn't a very lot. Is it? Sorry, which isn't that much. I know that that bit's is straight. That's fine. Am I actually going to come out of this stage with an advantage? Because right now, it is most certainly looking that way. Which I'll be very gobsmacked about. If I can win stage 3, and not 4, I will be happy. I just can't lose too much in 4. Alright. So I've got around a minute or so. I want to try and get this done before the two hour mark. As in, get the stage finished. Before I hit that two hour mark. Wow. Now we're talking. Now we're friggin' in business. Five, right. Four, three, two, one, go. Yeah. Well, I've, I've not got much confidence in uh, stage four, I'll be honest with you, uh, King. Does I never have confidence in this stage. Like, if I had a heart, heart rate monitor now, it would be going a bit hyper. Is that you trying to say hi there, Grubber?
come on. Come on. Yeah, this, this music will do. As well, that falls menu music. Something to calm me down a bit. Uh, worst intermediate cat. Ooh. That's probably a mix between the Escort and the Toyota. I think the Toyota is the worst, though. Which is funny, because at one point I actually had the record with the Toyota. Um, I managed to beat the Subaru with the Toyota. Although the run that I did with the Toyota was absolute garbage. And it proved how bad my old PB was. So... I think the reason why I, I say Toyota is because the Ford the Ford has decent acceleration, whereas the Toyota doesn't. But on the other hand, Toyota has better top speed. So when you gain top speed, you lose the acceleration. And given that a lot of the stages are corners anyway and barely any straights, Toyota is completely useless. The only what the one stage that the Toyota is actually good on. Um, is the super special stage in Gorska. And that's literally it. And genuinely, no joke. Friggin' words for that. No words. No words. I beat stage four. Backwards. In reverse. Whatever. In reverse. At night. Mirrored. By ten seconds. What the hell? In the Subaru. I am speechless. That's pretty good. Now all of a sudden this run became uh, to I'm fine. I can win this. I can still beat this. Even if I do really bad in this stage, which I probably will. My confidence has shot up dramatically. Uh, favorite car in CMR. Ooh. Uh, when you say CMR, I presume you mean this game. But I could also maybe give you an answer for the series. Not the Dirt series, just Comic Cray Rally in general. Um, right, so favorite car in CMR 1, for me, personally, has to be... The Audi Quattro, because of how fast it is, how frantic it is. The Impreza is a close second, and the Evo is third, I'd say. The Evo is decent, although it's worse than the Subaru, um, but has a really nice sound effect. That's what keeps it up there. The Audi, whilst having a worse engine sound than the Subaru and the Evo, um, is one of the quickest cars in the game, and I love it. For the other CMR games, it's hard to say. Like CMR 2, I'd probably say the uh, the two, Persia 205 the, or the Seat Cordova for obvious reasons, because they're the fastest cars and I've really grown to like them. But I was always a big fan of the Subaru in Comic Cray Rally 2. Comic Cray Rally 3 is the Ford Focus. Um, 
04, I don't really have one. And in Common Career Rally 2005, I would probably say my favourite car ever to use in that game would probably be... Ooh. What would it be, actually? That is a good question. Um... Don't know, actually. Couldn't give you one for Comic Rally 2005, actually. Maybe the Citroen Zara. I have, I have genuinely no idea. Actually, no, people probably kill me for saying that car. I don't know. To be honest, you won Subaru for those loads. Would that be my favourite car? No, it wouldn't. Um, I always like the Evo in... WRC 1 and 2. Sorry, WRC 2. And, yeah. Oh, this is Nirvana as well. Why did you sleep last night? Well, in my bed. Thanks for asking, Kurt. Let's see how far I can get. So I see how far I get. Let's, let, let's see if I can win this stage. I think my 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 personal favorite is always going to be uh, "Come as you are." me in Nirvana. If it's not that, then either Lithium or Balls Like Teen Spirit. Them three are probably my three favourite Nirvana songs. Not taking anything away from Heart Shaped Box. There's another song, but I can't list the name of it because it's got a word in it which people don't like saying. Although I don't mind saying it. It's, like, it's, the, it's in the song title. You can't mute it. Oh, I've won my 3.3 seconds. Well, we made it. The timing of this song was pretty damn well. Yeah, about another 20 minutes, I think, we'll be done. A little over two and a half hours. Oh. Nah, actually, no. 25 minutes. Two, uh, what was my time with the Audi? Oh, we didn't know, did we? Ooh. I didn't time it. Finished it, but I didn't time it. What was the time that ride at the other day? 2.33? Was it? No, oh, I did backwards the other day. That was 2.33, wasn't it? Yeah, I was just thinking that. Like a real song. Ooh, adia. Well, you know, if you're not the only one, uh grabber that thinks that I uh, like Brazil when they hear this song. I'm the same. Ooh, adia. Oh. Right. So given, so given how I won, uh, 
how I managed to win the UK rally by a minute and a half with the Audi. I'm pretty sure the Subaru is going to cakewalk it. Ah, uh, not too. It'd be funny if this got picked up by game journalism, you know. So I, I, I've, uh, oh, oh, hello. That was off that last time. Uh, I want to say, sounds like Black Eyed Peas, but I don't know. Sounds like a modern take on old song, but I could be wrong. Plus the, the la 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 la, that bit sounds like it came from, uh, what's it called? That bit. Found it came from Black Eyed Peas. Could have been for I don't know. June. Ah, oh, this. Make learning this to music. Everybody does. Mm -hmm. Everybody does. 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 There we go. No, don't know this opponents. <laughs> I've got to put that in the chat as a well the emote things. Oh Frank, what is it? Is it Frank's face Z emote? I can't remember. Flippy Pied and Spy My Parents. Unfortunately, not everyone... Everyone can do that, duck, but... You know, some people go, I was a failure, it's like... It doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. Like, so you're green? No, I'm not green. Oh, hello. Right. Note to self what I did with the Audi? I wrecked this car. I, I wrecked the Audi. I don't want to wreck the Subaru. Indonesia is just like concentration. I've got to see you, Cam. Like, I'm happy. I can afford to screw up. I'm in my backyard now. It's fine. Yeah, it could be worse. I think what's that other? What's that other stage I struggle with? UK stage four, isn't it?
Ah, one of King's favourite. King's favourites. It's murder on the dance floor. You better feel free. DJ, gonna burn this goddamn house right down. Four, three, two, one. Uh, keep the cat johns going. Keep them going. Computer's actually playing a decent set of songs today. At times. If you think you're getting away, I won't prove you wrong. I'll take you all away. Boy, just come along. And me when I say, Hey! It's murder on the dance floor. Did you bend the roof? Hey, 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 it's been on the dance floor. And the cruise, need to bend this goddamn pulse right now. No, 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 no. And maybe others. Alright. Ah, work with the white grooves, never mind. Whatever. We'll keep going. I screwed up. Ah, well. Make the UK a bit more challenging. Why not? <laughs> My face just kind of said it all then when that happens. Like, Ugh. Oh. So I'm going to have troubles cornering. Ain't going to be fun. He says. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Give a thumbs up. Yeah. So that like whatever, whatever buffer I had. Oh. Yeah. Whatever buffer I had. It's gone. I messed up there and all last time. Hit the same frigging bit and all. I hit that. The exact same point. Uh, ooh. Good point. Good question, actually. Uh, I'm... Do you know what? Yes. I think so. The first one. First rally, New Zealand, and because I've done it, yeah, I've actually tried and I did it. Once. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording, got it on stream, so I'd really like to prove that I can actually do it. Can't remember how much I won by, but I'm pretty sure it was less than a few seconds. Yeah, the UK is like, I am not amused. Am I a joke to you? Like, no, no. <laughs> Can you guess my next challenge is? Right, beat any rally on expert with that car without using the big guns cheat. Got it. Well, I'll tell you one rally it definitely wouldn't be. Indonesia. 100%. So, I've lost loads of time on this stage. How much time am I actually behind the leader? Oh, I'm behind! Now I'm losing time to the leader. Two seconds behind. Right, now it's a race to win and hope I win. I know, yeah, can he be? Kenny, I like he calling him Kenny B. Like, Kenny B is in the lead. Like, yep. He's 
is the UK the only country I'm not going to win? I won it in the Audi though, I don't get it. How can I lose it in the Subaru when I've won everything else? I won this by over a minute last time with the Audi, I'm sure. Mind you, bad tyre choice didn't exactly help, did it? And as well, mm. Now, you know what? We're going to see what I can do. Let's let's see what I can do. Bold strategy, Cat. Let's see if it pays off for him. You know what film that's from? Everybody knows, but... You know what film that's from? A few. <laughs> Yeah, there's still a chance. losing time here. God, this only turned the AI up to 150% now. The game's just adding up, it's like, right, you're getting screwed. Like, yeah, okay then. Let's see what you got. I've been playing you for 20 odd years. Let's see how good you really are, game. Let's see if you can outsmart me. Three minutes, oh my god. God damn. Oh, hello. Oh. Game's like, I didn't like that. Ten seconds? What the hell? Oh, wow. No, I'm definitely not winning UK after that. Nah. I've lost this entirely. Wrong tyres. Not winning this. Now I've got to see if... Now the, the challenge is not to win this anymore. It's can Viper make it to the end of the UK without losing. Knew I should have friggin' changed tyres. Oh no. Alright, come on, go on. I'm not going to make 12 seconds up on Kenny B, am I? Unless I have a miracle in the last two stages, for whatever reason. Need, I'm going to need a miracle to win this. 10 seconds, yeah, I'm still going to need a miracle. Definitely going to need a miracle. Uh, yep, that's fine. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Yeah, there's still scope to catch up. I've got 11 seconds to Kenny B. So, if anything, these next two states, I need to drive flat out as best as I can. Doesn't help that one's five minutes, the other one's about three. Okay, I am miles out from my prediction about what I said the other day, you know, well, what I said before. Oh, yeah, it's... Might be done, like, 2.30. No. Not gonna happen. Oh. 
Hi, Topo. Caught me near the end. I've got about two stages, well, three stages. If you want to stick around, feel free to do so. We're trying to see if I can actually win this rally now. Got past the other seven. Including the hell that was Indonesia. It's like, can he win the last rally? We're 11 seconds behind, so I've got to make 11 seconds up in two stages. It's currently what we're trying to do. There's got to be something. Come on, Scooby, don't let me down. You've not let me down so far. A great car. Uh! Not yet. Don't you dare give up the ghost yet. Talking to an imaginary car, whatever. Whoa, Betty. Where are you going? Oh, just to ask, is this a run that you think Colin would... Uh, obviously, Colin would never look into speed runs. I don't think he ever would have done. But is this, a, is this a run that even Colin could be proud of, you think? Like, I'm pretty sure he's not looking down now going, Go on, bro! No, I don't think so. I went up in the air. Come on, car, don't do this to me now, not now. Come on. Yeah, it's happened twice now at the same tree. For some reason, the car catches that tree and the car goes in the air. Must be a glitch or something. I only discovered it when, when the tables were turned, it's weird. Well driven. Nice. We've got to do another hard stage thing. What I've got to try and make sure I do here is lose as, le lose as least amount of time as possible because we have a super special stage after this and there's still time to draw time back. Not that much though. So, whatever I, whatever I lose here, it can't be too much because otherwise I'll lose the rally in its entirety. 
Just for context, I think I was 11 seconds behind and I gained 25 then. So I should be 14 in front now. So I need to lose less than 14 seconds in this stage in order to win the rally. Which is weird because I never would have thought I'd count how much time I'd lose. That's what's stopping me from winning this rally. Well, that actually kept me on the track, which is nice. Come on, come on. Where are you? Looking for the finish line, it's here somewhere. Uh, it's there. Lost a second, but that's fine. Don't don't lose ten in this. This is me versus back Kevin. Can he be? He's the guy I'm racing against in this. down there, just seeing him. Come on. Where is he? Ah, he's got to be somewhere. Come on. Go me. Where is he? He's ahead, apparently. Yeah, he's got me. Just about. Bloody hell, look at the speed of him! I lost that stage, but I won the rally! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Suck it, Ken! Colin for his third. Yes! That's it. Ultimate challenge is done. In the Subaru. Come on. 
Even everything else, everything's mirrored. Even the podium's mirrored. 